This video is about how to buy a house in Cedar Park, Texas. We are in a strong seller's market right now and I've got some great advice for you. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you wanna know everything there is to know about buying a home in Cedar Park, Round Rock, Pflugerville, Leander, Liberty Hill, Georgetown, North Austin, you've come to the right place. So while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time a new video is posted. Look, I literally get calls and texts and emails almost every day from people that are moving here and relocating here to the North Austin area, and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving here, reach out to me. I mean, send me a text, send me an email, uh, give me a call. I don't care. Even send me a carrier pigeon. And don't forget, I've got your back. So let's talk about how to buy a home in Cedar Park, Texas right now. I'm standing outside this home in Pflugerville, Texas, that's getting ready to close this week with an investor buyer that I've been working with. They live in California and they wanted to find a home that they could use as um, a property for rental income. And that's how we came across this property. But uh, you know, it's not easy to buy a home right now in Cedar Park or Round Rock or Pflugerville or any of the North Austin cities in which I work in, including Leander and Liberty Hill and Georgetown. And the reason is, is because we are in an extreme seller's market that's been created by the tremendous buyer demand and the low inventory of homes on the market. We are in an extremely fast paced market right now. I mean, when I put a new listing on the market, it is usually sold within hours. Just recently, I listed a property and we had over 23 showings set up within the first six hours. And that evening we had it under contract for tens of thousands of dollars above the asking price. So, you know, it's not easy being a buyer right now. So it's a fast paced market that prices are rising quickly. And whether you're interested in a resale home like this or new construction, as a matter of fact, one neighborhood in which I work uh, with new construction homes, the builder that I spoke to just yesterday said that they have a list of 435 people who are interested in building a home with them, and they're only releasing four lots per month. So, I mean, how do you, how do you buy a home in this kind of environment? Well, I've got some advice for you. Number one, you want to find the right realtor. I mean, we've got over 13,000 realtors here in our Austin Board of Realtors, and so many of them are new to the business and they don't have experience. So when you are calling uh, on a property here or you wanna learn about this area, make sure you're speaking to a knowledgeable realtor like myself. I mean, I've been doing this since the mid 90s. I'm a certified residential specialist, which is sort of like having a PhD in real estate. I'm also a, uh, an accredited buyer representative. So I've had specialized training in how to represent buyers and look after your best interests. So be sure if you're thinking about buying here that you find the right realtor to work with. Find someone that you like, uh, that you can trust, that you think is gonna be on your side because that's definitely what you want. The second step you wanna take when buying a home here in the Austin area is to get pre-qualified by a local lender. Now, I know that there are a lot of online lenders and what many people will do, they'll go on the internet and they'll search for a mortgage and they'll make application with one of these online lenders. And uh, many times the service is just horrible. Uh, you get an 800 number and when you call about what's going on with your loan, uh, you don't speak to the same person all the time and, and it's just terrible. Now, Texas also has different laws regarding mortgage lending than other states. I mean, heck, every state is different. So I really recommend to my buyers that you work with a knowledgeable local lender when you're buying a home here in Texas. And I've got a few that I work with. Uh, I know them. I have vetted them. I know they provide excellent service and great rates, so I can help you if you're looking for a lender. Step number three in this fast-paced seller's market, you've got to be ready to act fast. 
I mean, when I'm working with a buyer, sometimes a new property will come on the market and within minutes, I'm talking about that property with them. And then within the hour or two, we go out and we look at that property and we put an offer in right away. And we are first in line instead of being last in line. Too many agents are so busy doing other things like checking their email or going to the gym or having coffee with a friend. And by time, by time they get back to their computer and they see a new listing that's on the market, heck, I've already been there and I've written an offer on that listing. So you as a buyer also need to be ready to act fast when you're working with me if you want to win in this seller's market. Point number five, you can expect competing offers. I mean, it's almost impossible to escape the fact that you're going to be competing with other buyers. Now, I tell you what, I've been through uh, through this uh, many, many times, hundreds of times. Like they say here in Texas, this isn't my first rodeo. I guess I've helped at this point uh, probably almost 800 uh, buyers and sellers throughout my career. So I've learned some things about how to write up your offer uh, so that your offer wins over many of the other offers. I can't believe sometimes some of the offers that I receive on my listings that I can tell immediately it's an inexperienced agent. They don't really know what they're doing. Their paperwork is sloppy or they're not even really trying hard uh, to get the buyer the home that the buyer desperately wants. Look, I've learned a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, tricks. Well, I hate to use the word tricks. I've, I've learned a lot of strategies. I learned a lot of the ways to make your offer look compelling and to help you get the house that you want. Uh, point number six, expect a great mortgage rate. Man, my best mortgage lender right now is telling me that he's been helping get uh, buyers uh, mortgage rates as low as two and a half percent. Now, if you got good credit, uh, you have a good debt to income ratio, uh, you're going to get a great mortgage rate. Yeah, it's sort of hard to find a home. Yes, you might have some competing offers, but the silver lining for you right now is that we have historically low mortgage rates here in the Austin, Texas area and, and really all across the nation. So we've been talking about how to buy a home here in Cedar Park, Texas. And if you're thinking about moving here or relocating here, I would love to speak to you. But hey, you've got to do one thing. So first of all, before you leave my channel, be sure that you subscribe. Be sure that you hit the bell so that you'll be notified every week when a new video goes out. And that usually happens on Thursday. Almost, I almost never miss that. Uh, but look down in the comments below. You, you know, you've got to pick up the phone and give me a call. You got to send me an email. You got to send me a text. Hex, I don't, I don't care. Like I often say, send me a carrier pigeon. Look, I've got your back. I'm here to help you, but you've got to take action right now so that I can help you. Also, right now, you're beginning to see other videos pop up on my channel. So be sure to click on those, uh, learn about our area. Uh, learn about what real estate is like here, how to buy a home in Cedar Park, Texas, and I'm happy to help anytime. Thanks so much.